leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. You say you've had enough, but the power for change lies in your hands. It is now our joint mission to improve the lives of our people. Fellow Deltans, support Comrade Sonny Ofehe on his journey to better the lots of our people. Together, we can revamp our educational sector, create job opportunities, support our adults, build a better healthcare system, strengthen security, increase economic and social development and sustainability for Delta. We invite every citizen to embrace the fixed Delta movement by supporting a credible candidate governor, Comrade Sonny Ofehe. It is time for you and me to do things differently to fix Delta. ABC Change! Renowned Niger Delta environmental rights activist, Comrade Sonny Ofehe, has said he joined the Niger Delta governorship race to redefine the politics of the state and make Deltans feel what it means when resources are properly utilized for their betterment. Comrade Sonny Ogale Ofehe was born on the 1st of February 1972 in Lagos to Chief Bernard Agogo and Mrs. Teresa Ofehe of Iede, Isoko North Council area of Delta State. Ofehe had a pretty rough childhood. Growing up in poverty, he was determined to face education in the midst of challenges. Ofehe was enrolled into Ogele Primary School, Ugele, and completed his primary education in 1983. His secondary education was completed at Unity School, Agbaho, in 1988. In 1991, Ofehe gained admission into the University of Benin to study industrial chemistry. He graduated in 1995. The June 12, 1993 saga resulting from the annulled election of late Chief MKO Abiola became Ofehe's first call into activism. He mobilized his fellow students to demonstrate against the annulment of the presidential election by the then military head of state, General Ibrahim Babangida. This action will see him become one of the victims of military clampdown on pro-democracy activists. He protested the annulment of the election and subsequent execution of a renowned author, playwright and human rights activist Ken Sarowiwa and others popularly known as the Ogoni Nine by the General Sani Abacha-led military government in 1995. Sonny Ofehe fled Nigeria for the Netherlands on the 28th of November 1995 where he sought political asylum to escape the haunts by the Abacha-led military government. Ofehe founded a non-governmental organization, Hope for the Niger Delta Campaigns, HNDC, headquartered in Rotterdam, Netherlands in 2005. The focus of the organization was to bring the plight of the people of the all-rich Niger Delta to international awareness. My name is Comrade Sonny Ofehe, a human and environmental rights activist from the oil-rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria. I am an advocate of a non-violent means of tackling the human and environmental challenges faced by the impoverished people of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. In 2016, I presented the case of the Ogoni people of the region at the ninth session of the United Nations Forum on Minority Issues. I think the world needs to know the consequences of oil extraction on the lives of the ordinary people, and together we can make their environment a better place. The Royal Dutch Shell discovered crude oil in Ogoni land in 1956 before Nigeria gained independence. The Ogoni people have been victims of human rights violations for many years. Records have shown that between 1976 and 1991, there were around 2,976 oil spills of about 2.1 million barrels of crude oil in Ogoni land, accounting for about 40% of Shell's total global oil spills. In 1993, following the protests to stop Shell from laying a new pipeline, led to police invading communities resulting in the death of 2,000 Ogoni people, mainly elders, women, and children, with more than 80,000 Ogonis displaced. 
The UNEP report in, in 2007, the United Nations Environmental Protection UNEP Agency carried out assessment of over 200 locations in Ogoniland. They found out that the impacts of the 50 years of oil operations in the region extended deeper than originally thought. This was as a result of oil spills, gas flaring, and waste discharge. The assessment has been unprecedented. Over a 14-month period, the UNEP team examined more than 200 locations, surveyed 122 kilometers of pipelines right of way. The issue is not stopping the oil companies from doing business, but the, the significance of doing business should be that the environment of the people are properly protected. And if there are incidents of oil spills, um, environmental damages, there should be remediation and there should be compensation paid to the people who are affected. And that is our call. And I want to appeal to you all to join in this crusade to see that the lives of these people are properly protected and given proper human dignity. Ofehe was instrumental in a litigation involving four Niger Delta farmers brought against them by the Royal Dutch Shell in The Hague with a ruling in January 2013 in favor of one of the farmers. My name is Comrade Sonny Ofehe, a human and environmental rights activist from the oil-rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria. In 2010, at the Dutch parliamentary hearing in The Hague on the role of oil giant company Shell in Nigeria, I presented in the most passionate way ever the hazards caused by gas flare on the life of the people of the Niger Delta region. I also made the audience understand the love and acceptance they gave to the oil companies when they discovered crude oil in the region in the late 50s. Most of my communities struggle with gas flare. And I watch on the news all the time about people campaigning for a better climate. And I wonder why that campaign is not coming to the Niger Delta for an end to common gas flare. And we've seen our environment destroyed by the oil companies trying to make profit. And today what we have in the Niger Delta is as water the sea, swamps, polluted, and by leakage is caused by the arbitrary, unprofessional method of oil processing. And we've seen that our major occupation, we used to be fishing and farming, has been taken away from us by the oil company and the Nigerian government, whose focus is how they can make a lot of profit from our region. That more than 26 million people are dying from environmental devastation. I want you to consider that and know that for every fuel that you tank in the police station, it is at the expense of somebody's health. We have so many cases of lung diseases, leukemia, premature death. And one of the characteristics you can use to identify somebody from the Niger Delta, including myself, is red eye. From the age of five, we start developing red eye because the only life we see is the gas flare. Gas flare is the burning of all associated gases during crude oil extractions. These poisonous gases are allowed to burn openly in the atmosphere of where the people live. There are no proper precautions taken to protect the people. Despite a ban on the process since 2008, Nigeria is still considered the second most gas flare country in the world after Russia. This process must stop to save the people of the Niger Delta region from further environmental damages. His mother was assassinated in 2007. He escaped a bomb blast and was arrested several times. He visited the camp of the popular movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta, MEND, as part of a peace campaign calling for a truce. This is the movement, the, the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta, popularly known as MEND. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's good that they gave us this permission to come and uh, hopefully we have some questions to ask them for everyone to... Surely we have many questions. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Asawana, wana. Asawana, wana. Woo. Asawana, wana. Asawana, wana. Asawana, wana. Asawana, wana.
But before we proceed, I want you to introduce yourself to us by telling us your names, who you are, and what you do. Oh, yeah, welcome. Uh, I'm Boy Love, one of the men leader, the deputy to Henry Oka. Deputy to Henry Oka? Yeah. What's the situation of Henry Oka right now? Can you tell us what is the meaning of MEND? Uh, the meaning of MEND is Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta. Can you tell us some of your goals, some of your aims and objectives? Well, actually, um, MEND grows up uh, as a matter of fact because of the marginalization and the brutality of the Nigerian states. And you know, the Nigerians oppress the people. And if you look into it, the Niger Delta people are the people that feed the nation. But nothing is being paid back to the people. This was followed by a successful peace move by the Nigerian government and the subsequent granting of amnesty to all Niger Delta militants. Ofehi expressed concern that Delta State has a Torogo gas plant Nigeria's biggest plant, which fields the Edwin Power Station, Lagos, and others in the country, but successive governments in Delta has failed to harness this to generate electricity to homes. As my mentor in this struggle, it is not politics that unites us. It is the spirit of Aluta that unites us. So when you see me with Fredobe, Anytime, anywhere, whether in the day or in the night, do not think that it is party politics that brings us together. You know, he's a man that will share a common interest. And that common interest is what I respect. So as my mentor, he has just told me that he has invited you people to his house to celebrate after the Congress, after the Congress yes, for some kind of refreshment. I will be part and parcel of that solution. Oh, yeah. he stresses that when given the mandate, he will turn around the plant to have a turbine that would power the whole of Delta. Within four years of his administration, Deltans would have industries that would gainfully employ her youths, and his team of foreign experts have already designed a template that is workable for Delta. I will guarantee you that we will bring international advantage to our campaign and we will change this current government as well. Ufihi has said that he will tap into the failures of successive governments in areas of waste management, port utilization, educational enhancement programs for youth. My name is Comrade Sonny Ofehe, a human and environmental rights activist from the Niger Delta. I am sad to present the state of public schools in the Niger Delta region. The schools have been abandoned by the government and of course and by all the companies that do business around these communities. Education should be a basic necessity for all children. These children have been deprived of their basic rights. To imagine that Nigeria is the eighth largest producer of crude oil in the world and majority of this oil are extracted from this region makes it startling. I visited these communities and listened to their frustration. We are exposing this primary school to the whole world to see that this school is representing whose community in Edo State. We want to let the world know that what is obtainable to host community in Holland should be obtainable here. What is obtainable to host community in America should be obtainable here. This is a primary school that the Shell is proud of. You can see this, the chairs donated by Shell. Today, the school has been deteriorated. No uh, information, nothing coming up, no infrastructure, no amenities, nothing. This youth are not power. Everything remains blackout. Today, you'll be hearing Urban from every, everywhere, in part of every part of the world. Urban, Urban, Urban. You have come to Urban to see by your first today. We are also assuming if other Foreign observer can as well come down to see by themselves what is exactly happening in Nobel. Healthcare 
pioneer revitalization, agricultural revolution through mechanized farming to make a great difference in what the dividends of democracy truly mean. The state's governments have failed to tap into the many windows of economic opportunity open to develop the estate because they solely rely on the nation's all wealth, which comes through monthly federal allocation. And it is a shame that that abundance of grains that we are producing have not been properly utilized. And guess what? They have told me that once I become the executive governor of these states, they will they will go out there, get the finances, and we will build one of the biggest ICT villages in the whole of Africa. And I've told them that it must be in Isokola. Dalton will be shocked to what Ofehi will attract to the state without touching a single dime of the federal allocation. My people, Comrade Sonny Ofehi, now na pesino, na una son, he made the right man to fix Delta for 2019. I beg, make una support him. My people of Delta State, this is Comrade Sonny of Fehe offering himself to serve you in the capacity as the next governor of Delta State come 2019. I want you to vote for me, vote for real change, and vote for a young man who is dynamic, who has what it takes to take this state to the biggest uh, global economic heights that you can ever imagine. You know, as our people, they talk um, you know, who say me you're not ripe, you're not going to get fruits. I don't come to now with this strong message. I'll be one of our people and I believe strongly say by the time when I give this power to this young man when they talk, so we will definitely work together because I know if you achieve I'm alone, no, I need to support completely. So we will definitely work together to make sure that we take our state to that position where our state supposed to belong for Nigeria. When I trust say that are not supposed to carry last. And the fact say we they carry last so far now because say when I never choose the right person. Right now I don't see the one where he correct when he feel lead una, in a way that we all will make sure say we we'll put our state for the right place. They say who they cry the zero do, not let tears blind your eye. You who say me you're not ripe, you're not gonna get fruit too. As I did so, I don't come, I am fully loaded, I don't see things. Yeah, they say now nah, strong thing, I see now nah, change in it to ever. This one, when I did so, we must make a difference and we'll make it together. Thank you. Make we see. Go get your PVC. Go get your voters' registration card and vote me. So let us vote rightly. Let us go for the right choice. With international experience, Sonny O'Fair.